played sports growing up and it was always protein, protein, protein. So I ate a lot of eggs and, you know, dead animals and, you know, high protein stuff. And uh, when I found a plant-based diet and just what it did for my health, um, I felt like I needed to not only share it with people, but, you know, make it more accessible and more convenient. You know, 99% of people um, aren't going to kind of change their habits if they have to sacrifice things in their life. They have to sacrifice their social life if it's not convenient for them. So I figured the, the biggest impact that I could make was to provide a place that kind of solved that problem and made it easy for people to eat a little bit better for them and, and not sacrifice anything. Rewild is a plant-based beer hall and cafe. So we're a cafe uh, during the week and a beer hall on the weekends. Um, all our food is made from plants and we do so in a way that kind of recreates uh, traditional pub food. So we do pizzas, we do burgers, we do tacos, we do approachable food um, versus kind of health foodie, plant-based food. There's obviously a ton of misconceptions about plant-based food and, you know, the V word vegan, right? So I just want to be an example for people and let them know that if they so choose, you know, there's this other lifestyle that, you know, um, can benefit their health and benefit their life. So the whole name Eat Green, Make Green actually came from, you know, eat plant-based to make money. Um, and I wanted to appeal to entrepreneurs and it's since kind of morphed, but that was the original concept. Um, and yeah, so to be an example to people, but again, also you're essentially non-existent if you do not have a presence on social media today. And personally, whether that's giving a talk or um, opening a business or whatever it is you're going to do, um, you know, having a following of people who know what you're up to and know what you're about is important. The money we raised for Rewild 95% of it was through Instagram. And it's cool because you develop a relationship with your followers where they see, you know, me out of my runs. They see me, you know, working day to day. They see what I'm up to and they, you kind of develop this relationship, you know, when, hey, I am starting this restaurant, if you want to be a part of it and you want to contribute, you know, financially, um, that they feel like they already know you. And I, we took a number of investments where, you know, we had never met the people. And it's all through a, you know, DM on Instagram saying, I love what you've been up to, you know, I have been following you and I think this will do well, you know, I'd love to support it. Everything's exciting about a startup. I personally like that phase more so than even the rest of the business. Uh, it's exciting. It's constantly solving problems. There's just always a challenge every day. Um, but I think I've kind of always had the entrepreneurship bug and have always wanted to wake up every day with a purpose and um, be able to call my own shots and, you know, make a difference. And that's kind of what's always appealed to me. And I've just, I've been fortunate enough to have an awesome, you know, family and support system that has allowed me to take big risks. Yeah, you just gotta start. I mean, that's, it sounds cliche and it sounds overly simple, but that's literally what it is. You're never gonna have all the answers. You're never gonna know how things are gonna pan out. Your, your business plan is never gonna play out how you wrote it up. Um, and just, I, I've found a lot of comfort in, you know, knowing that even the people that have started 10 businesses and seven of them have been super successful, they still don't know what they're doing. You know, they're still figuring it out as they go. And I think a lot of people get, you know, scared that they don't have all the answers and they don't have the right tools or the right connections and things like that. And the truth of the matter is nobody does, um, even at the highest levels. Um, you know, you're just figuring it out day by day. And um, yeah, I've just found comfort in that. But you, you just have to start, you know. You can't get stuck just planning every little detail uh, because then you're never gonna actually start and progress.